Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I'm Dr. Kamakshi, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I'm going to take the topic under theory of computation. Uh, first, about the introduction of theory of computation, it consists of three theory. One is automata theory. It deals with the finite automata, uh, non-deterministic finite automata and deterministic fi finite automata and the grammar, context-free grammar, context-free languages. And then next one is computability theory. It deals with the Turing machine and how to do the mathematical calculations with the Turing machine. And then next one is complexity theory. It deals with the class NP and class P problems that is polynomial time and non-deterministic polynomial time. So finite automata, it's nothing but it deals with the mathematical model of your digital computer. It is used to recognize the patterns that is given as an input to the machine. It consists of uh, both the discrete inputs and outputs. The input is given to the machine is processed by various states. It is called as a intermediate states and uh, the job of FA, finite automata is to accept or reject the given input based upon the pattern it will recognize whether the input is to be accepted or not or to be rejected. So, the definition of finite automata, it's a collection of five important tuples, uh, capital Q, summation, and then production symbol Q0 and F, where capital Q is set of finite set of states, which is non-empty. And then uh, summation is nothing but it accepts all the input alphabets. Uh, that is, you can call it as an input set. And then production is nothing but a, you can call it as a mapping function or transition function. You can perform the um, uh, productions of, uh, that is uh, uh, the multiplication of uh, capital Q and summation. And then Q0 is the initial state and F is the set of final states. So the types of automata, it is of two types. One is deterministic finite automata and then non-deterministic finite automata. So in this, Deterministic finite automata is nothing but it accepts all the five tuples same like that of your finite automata that is uh, the machine accepts capital Q summation production Q0 and F same like that of your uh, finite automata but in deterministic if there is only one path from the, from the current state to the next state it accepts only one input then it is called as a deterministic finite automata whereas in NFA it will not accept from one state to the next state it will accept more than one input then you can call it as a non-deterministic finite automata. So it is an example for uh, DFA already you know about the five tuples you can also call it as a quintuples that is capital Q summation production symbol and then Q0 and F to indicate various states because we can get the input through various intermediate states. So this is an example for DFA. So you can call this diagram as a transition diagram. In that from the given diagram you can easily analyze, you can get the uh, inputs for each and every state for Q, summation, production, Q0 and F. So already you know Q is set of uh, finite set of states. So you can include all the states that is name it as capital A, B and C or the states. And then summation is the set of finite input symbols, finite set of symbols. So uh, what are the symbols that we are going to use in this program problem is A and B. So A and B is accepted as input symbols. And then from the given production, you can do the multiplications of these two, that is uh, capital Q and summation. So from this, you can do the uh, you can get the production then from capital A to A, A to B and then B to A, B to B, C to A, C to A. Likewise, you can do the production for, so, so that you can get the production for all the um, uh, set of states and set of input symbols that you are going to use in your uh, problem to finalize your transition functions. So, why you call it as a deterministic finite state automata that 
after from the current state to the next state it accepts only one input symbol by do the transition from one state to the next state or you can call it as from the current state to the next state so like uh, this is the statement that every state on seeing any input it is always go to the only one state so this is one simple example that you are going to construct a dfa that accepts a set of strings this is the condition given to you over a comma b width of length 2 then you have to generate the language based upon the condition that is with that length of 2 you with the combination of a set of strings a comma b then you have to generate a string that is a a a b b a b b these are the possibilities of a set of all the strings over a comma b width of length 2 this is the condition given to you you have to based upon this condition you have to construct a dfa so based upon this condition you can generate the language based upon the language you can draw the transition diagram you can call it as a transition diagram so from the state a after reading input symbol it moves into the state b and then after reading the input symbol a from the state b to the uh, state c so this symbol this arrow mark it reveals that this is the starting state a is the starting state that is you can call it as a q naught and then what is your f means c is your f that is final state it is indicated by double circle so based upon the transition diagram you can do the transition function that is uh, this is your starting state and q2 is your final state so with this information you have to draw the transition function that is q1 after reading the input symbol 0 it moves into the state q1 itself and then q1 after reading 1 it moves into the state q2 that is your accepting state and then for the uh, state q2 after reading the input symbol 0 it moves into the state q3 that is represented as here q3 and then q2 after reading 1 it enters into the same state that is q2 likewise you have to based upon the transition diagram you have to fill the transition table like this this from the given you can know that the starting state is q1 and the final state f is represented as q2 what are the input symbols that are included 0 comma 1 what are the states that is capital q is q1 q2 q3 and then summation is 0 and 1 thank you